A sex tape said to feature Prince Andrew, Richard Branson and Bill Clinton, although not at the same time, uh, were secretly recorded by Jeffrey Epstein. That is what is claimed in the latest batch of unsealed court documents. Of course, uh, those men, their representatives, have denied uh, any such thing ever occurred. Joining me now, though, to discuss this is US correspondent Kinsey Schofield. Hi, Kinsey. Hi, um, poor Hello. Michael Bolton. He didn't want. He didn't. He definitely did. Did not know that these pictures were going to come up later, standing <laughs> next to Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> I mean, everybody. Look, we we all know people ourselves who who've been pictured next to these people. I mean, Graham Gillay, Maxwell, and Jeffrey Epstein. They knew everybody. They met everybody. Everyone wanted to hang around with the billionaire who had the big, the nice big plane that could fly them everywhere. Which apparently, all these rich people can't afford their own plane tickets or their own holidays to islands. But there we are. Um, let's talk about this thing because claims and counterclaims again. What is in this latest batch of documents that are released from this court case, dating way back to 2015, don't they, um, and uh, Virginia Dufresne? What is actually being claimed and what of the men who've been accused of this, what have they said? All right, so this, these are emails from a woman to the New York Post named Sarah Ransom, who said that there were sex tapes that existed that included Sir Richard Branson, uh, former President Donald Trump, uh, Prince Andrew. Um, and uh, what we find out, if well, you, if you read Clinton, through the not thread... Donald, Donald Trump. That's right, I'm sorry, former yeah, President should, Bill Clinton as well. But if you read through the, fre uh, the, the actual thread, Sarah Ransom retracts her claims, telling the New York Post that she wanted to walk away from this, citing fears from her family. Then later in 2019, the New Yorker says that Ransom admitted to inventing the tapes to draw attention to the Epstein case. Now, here in the States, we're seeing this taken off politically, with uh, Don Jr. Tweeting, the, tweeting a link to the story that excludes his father in the title, saying, well, shouldn't we take a deeper look at this, not realizing that his dad isn't, you know, implicated in this as well? Um, so I, I really... I, well, whether the tapes exist or not, I'm not sure, but I do believe that this stems from 2019 when an FBI agent testified during Ghislaine Maxwell's trial uh, that following a raid at Epstein's house, some evidence went missing. They testified that they found CDs, hard drives, cash, and passports uh, within a safe. They did not have a valid warrant to remove that evidence. They only photographed it, but at the time the Telegraph reported a few days later when the FBI returned to obtain the evidence, it was gone. So, of course, stories like that you're going to put to these happen. two and two together and it's yeah. going to take off. I mean, I have to state, we've got a statement from uh, Virgin Group spokesman for Richard Branson saying, in a New Yorker report published in 2019, uh, Sarah Ransom, you just mentioned, admitted that she had invented the tapes. We can confirm that Sarah Ransom's claims are baseless and unfounded. I need to read that for legal reasons. But, of course, we know that Jeffrey Epstein, you know, basically trafficked young women on a huge scale uh, and that there were many guests uh, on, on, on the island and many, many men who who he, who he had spent a lot of time with. I mean, some of those are famous names, some less famous names. A lot of them very important and very rich. We also know that the police found huge numbers uh, of cameras in his all of his homes. Uh, he was... Every single camera, every single room had a number of cameras in. He was, he was recording things. Um, in, in that uh, the Netflix documentary, Filthy Rich, a number of the women testified to having, you know, been shown, uh, shown uh, you know, these videos and the, and the footage. I mean... It is, it is not inconceivable whether these men were involved or not, and they've denied it, I have to say. It's not inconceivable that Jeffrey Epstein was recording famous, rich, powerful people having sex with um, the trafficked young women that he was uh, abusing uh, so that he could, I mean, use it to have power over them, blackmail them if necessary, get himself out of trouble if he's ever arrested if necessary, etc., etc. I mean, I, I agree. If you look at it, the grand scheme of things, it seems his ultimate objective was not to have fun with the boys. His ultimate objective was to have some sort of power over them. And so how else would you do that other than blackmail? And, uh, you know, how else would you do that other than saying, I've, I've got tangible proof? Um, you look at some of the way that some of these people including Prince Andrew. Why did Prince Andrew continue to associate with this person at the end yeah. of the day? It's just, it's hard to even comprehend. Well, there's an although easy I will answer to Prince that. Andrew says he... But this is the thing, if you're Pardon? asking me, why are you friends with someone you absolutely know to be because he's convicted and pleaded guilty to child sex trafficking? Why, 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 yeah. why, why are you friends? There's an easy answer to that and we all know what it is. Exactly. And it's hard to, you know, it's hard to comprehend how... Prince Andrew hasn't been given the boot so far, or why the royal family hasn't responded in some way, shape, or form. And it is, 
it is the princess of Wales birthday. So I doubt we're going to get it today. Um, but I do think that it surprises me that in some way they haven't shown us that they're taking the, these allegations very seriously. Well, indeed, there's still some talk now of a possible police investigation. I don't see that ever realistically happening, but, um, uh, but uh, no doubt uh, there's more to come, more of these Epstein files. We'll talk to you again about them. Thank you so much for joining us. Kinsey Schofield, US correspondent, thank you for that. Um, final word to Tom Slater uh, from Spiked Online. We've seen these allegations again and again. I mean, the, the stuff that was published last week, actually, you know, it was, it's, it's very, you know, it was, it was, um, salacious, but it, it wasn't actually new, a lot of it. Most of it was kind of stuff we already knew. Um, do, do you, I mean, and again, you know, is, this, is, this is a new thing, but do, I mean, it's all been denied. Where does it go from here? Well, I think in terms of the UK, the question is just going to be on the royal family now. What do you do about Prince Andrew? Um, obviously, he's stepped back from royal duties, but you can generally just see him kind of bobbing around in the background at family events and things like yeah. that. But there is going to be increasing pressure now, given the fact that when you do have a monarchy, these people do take on that kind of extra level of significance by dint of just being in the fold. Yeah. Um, so what are they going to do? Who knows? But um, even even though it is kind of old news to a certain extent, it's just a reminder of how much he has sort of dragged the family brown through yeah. the mud. Well, then again, there's lots of talk about you know the police getting involved, but also just simply you know, calling in some of his security officers who who would have been with him when he when he went to stay with a. I mean, the fact that he went with the security officers to stay at the house for four days of a convicted you know child sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein. This is long after he'd been convicted. I mean, for goodness sake, you know mm -hmm. the fact that that wasn't flagged to the head of security at Buckingham Palace and flagged to the Queen and, the, and Prince Philip, and they didn't say no, you're not. Mm -hmm. No, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, it's a reminder of why. He has the um, ignoble um, honour of being even less popular with the public than Harry and Meghan. It's because of things like Quite that. Quite something, isn't it? Anyway, Tom Slater, pleasure to have had your company.